The US economy has grown by an annual average of 1.4% over the past decade. That's less than half as fast as the previous decade. Many European economies have performed even worse. Typically, central banks try to spark growth by lowering interest rates to encourage spending. But that has been tough in recent years, as conventional monetary policy has limited power when interest rates are already close to zero. In many countries, large-scale public spending is off the table. So what policies could help push developed economies out of the trap of low growth, low inflation and low interest rates? Three economists argue that the answer may be VAT. VAT is an acronym and stands for Value Added Tax, and in simple terms you can actually think of it like a federal sales tax, but levied actually at each stage of production. Consider buying a box of cookies at the supermarket. When the farmer sells grain to the factory, VAT would be added on top. When the factory sells the cookies to the supermarket, VAT would be added again. And when the supermarket sells the cookies to you, it adds on VAT once again. In 2005, Germany announced an impending VAT hike of 3% to go into effect in 2007. The announcement provided just the kind of growth stimulus that developed economies desperately need today. Looking at aggregate data, you actually see a large consumption boom after the announcement of the VAT increase and before the actual enactment. You see actually that the willingness of German consumers to increase their consumption after the announcement increased by 34% relative to before and relative to actually similar households in European countries. We would expect a large consumption boom and huge growth rates in the US economy potentially going back to rates we've seen in the past. At the same time, through those channels, we would immediately have increase in inflation expectations, ultimately inflation would look actually pass those periods of low normal interest rates and allowing the Fed to actually achieve one of its main goals, which is price stability, but also the secondary goal, which is actually full employment. During the 2016 US primary elections, Senator Ted Cruz proposed a 16% VAT that would net $16 trillion over the next decade, according to the Tax Foundation. A national sales tax is not a new idea, but it's often overlooked because such taxes disproportionately affect the poor, who end up spending a much larger portion of their income on the kinds of things that get taxed. The researchers believe they have a fix for that. What you could do is, for example, have tax rebates to the poor, or in case the poor households do not pay taxes, we could actually think about direct transfer to those type of households. In 1991, Canada introduced a 7% sales tax. The policy was so unpopular that the governing party lost nearly all of its seats in the next election. Raising taxes is always politically risky, but the upside is that a value-added tax could help improve economic growth.